dear students in this lecture i am going to discuss about resource leveling in the previous class i have explained about resource loading that is allocating resources into the project now when you allocate the resources there will be smooth allocation of the resources so that smoothening of the resource is done by how to i will explain how to smoothen the resources in this lecture that is called resource leveling so the agenda for this lecture is what is the resource leveling and what is the need for resource leveling then resource leveling versus crashing then i am going to explain a heuristic procedure for resource leveling with the help of an example so in project management resource leveling is defined by guide to the project management body of knowledge as a technique in which start and finish dates are adjusted based on resource limitation with the goal of balancing demand for resources with the available supply so we are going to match demand and supply of the resources so resource leveling problem could be formulated as a optimization problem the problem could be solved by different optimization algorithm such as exact algorithm or meta heuristic algorithm need for resource leveling networks are not simple sequence of events activities can performed only when resources that is manpower machines materials and so forth are allocated to them of course we cannot assume unlimited availability of the resources therefore whatever resources are available they must be utilized to the maximum extent for a given project we can determine the earliest and the latest possible starting times for all the activities and all the slacks so the starting time for an activities may be adjusted to achieve objectives other than just completing the project early one such objective is the leveling of the resources to the total project because we have the slack for certain activities so the earliest starting time can be adjusted so that there will be a match between demand and supply of the resources often the management wants to keep the total amount of resources in use during the project performance as nearly constant as possible through time and avoid major shift in manpower and other resources and if constant amount of resources are given managerial planning decision might aim at their maximum utilization in terms of the least idle time and as far as possible allowing for the smallest variation that's why the leveling is required the management may wish to level resources to maintain steady progress expenditure pattern and cash flows so this analysis aiming at constancy of the resource usage is called resource leveling in resource leveling the aim is to reduce the peak resources requirement and smooth out the period to period assignment with a constraint on the project duration it may be recalled that like resource leveling the crashing also involves reallocated of resources but whereas in crashing shortening of the project time is the objective in resource leveling smoothening of the resource usage rate without changing the project duration is the objective so in crashing our aim is to reduce the time and reduce the cost also but in crashing that the level should be equally constantly should be utilized the level of the resources that is objective of this leveling it is possible to smooth either individual key resources or all the resources employed in the project on daily basis it may easily visualized that such an analysis would be very complex when activities and resources involved are numerous and it sometimes might require revising the entire project schedule however this might worth investigating before the key resources are committed here we discuss a heuristic method for leveling of resources in a given situation to keep the problem simple suppose that the personnel is the only resource to be considered the method is explained with the following example resource leveling example you are given a figure and corresponding network for your project 
here the project activities require manpower so this represents so whatever value which are in the bracket represent the manpower required and this t represents the activity name and 3 represents the duration now you see there are 1 to 5 activity d duration is 3 unit of time manpower requirement is 8 similarly a b c e f g and h now determine how the activities of the project may be scheduled in order to have a smooth a requirement for the manpower as possible without causing a delay in the project completion so we have to find out the the correct project schedule so that the manpower requirement is constant there won't be there should not be any high variation in the manpower requirement so the first task here is we have to find out the critical path so what are the possible critical path and corresponding the duration so 156 is possible this 156 is possible so the duration is 3 plus 5 8 days another route is 1256 this is also one possible duration is 2 plus 5 7 plus 5 12 another route is this route 1356 here the duration is 1 plus 1 2 7 days the another route is this route 146 here the duration also 7 days so the critical activity is this one 1256 so why we are finding critical activities you cannot do any adjustment because there is no slack in that activities so what i have done i have up to 12 days i have done that one i have given a scale for up to 12 days so i have written all the critical activities what is that critical activities here activity a activity e and activity h so activity a is there then activity e is there then activity h is there the next activity is activity d so activity d duration is 3 days the manpower requirement is 8 so whatever value which is written in the bracket is manpower requirement so activity d i have written the next activity is b so manpower requirement is 7 but the duration is 1 day the next activity is f the f duration is 1 but the manpower requirement is 6 next activity is c the duration is 2 day but the manpower requirement is 3 the next activity is g duration is 5 days 1 2 3 4 5 days the manpower requirement is 6 so now i have completed all the activities so what it says that a e h is the critical activity for example activity d duration is 3 days but it is finishing with the e so that is why i have written in the dotted line so activity b duration is 1 day and after that activity f so activity f is finishing with activity e that is why i have completed with the dotted line similarly for activity c activity g so activity g finishing with activity h that is why written in the dotted line so how i got the 12 because 12 is the maximum duration now what we have to do now here we have to do the concept of smoothening leveling so what i am going to do for each day i am going to find out what is the manpower requirement now i have drawn the project network now i am going to find out the manpower required for each day for example day 1 so we need here 8 8 plus 9 17 17 plus 7 24 24 plus 3 is 27 similarly for day 2 8 plus 9 17 17 6 17 plus 6 23 so 23 plus 3 is 26 day 3 8 plus 4 12 12 plus 6 18 day 4 4 plus 6 10 even day 5 10 6 10 7 10 see on the eighth day we have 6 6 6 6 6 so when you plot it in x axis it is the day in y axis is manpower so what is happening the first two days 
there is a lot of fluctuation. So, here up to 9th day onwards manpower requirement is only 6. So, 4th to 7 manpower requirement is only 10, but in the initial days there are more variation is there. So, now what I am going to do? I am going to reallocate these activities within the available limits so that the manpower is leveled, smoothened. So, what I am going to do? So, postpone activity D. So, this activity D to the beginning of the fifth day. So, what I have done? You look at from the left hand side to right hand side. So, instead of 0th day, so I am starting on the 4th day that is the beginning of the 5th day because the duration is 1, 2, 3 that is the first action. The second one what I am going to do postpone G to the beginning of 8th day What is the G? This is G is there currently. Now I am going to push it on the beginning of 8th day that means the 7th day onwards. So, after re readjusting now I am going to find out what is the manpower requirement. Now, you see in day 1 the requirement is 9 plus 9 plus 7, 16 plus 3 it is 9, in day 2 9 plus 6, 15 plus 3, 18, in day 1, 2, 3, in day 3 it is 4, day 5 also it is 4. Now, you see here, here the manpower requirement is 12 because this is 8 plus 4, 12. So, here also 8 plus 4 12, here also 8 4 4 12. After that 6 plus 6 12, 12 12 12 12. So, after doing that readjustment what I have done? I have done some changes in activity D and activity G. Then now when I plot that men required versus time. So, after fifth day it is manpower requirement is 12, but still on the first two days and three and fourth day there is a more variations. Now, I am going to do further some adjustment then I am going to see what is the manpower requirement. So, what I am going to do? I am going to act shift activity B and F. So, this is my activity B and F to 2 days. So, instead of starting on 0th day after 2 days if I start it then this will be the this will be the my new network. Now, for this new network I am going to find out what is the manpower requirement. So, what modification I have done? D I have shifted, G I have shifted and B and F together I have shifted. Now, what is the manpower requirement 9 plus 3 12, here 9 plus 3 12 and third day 7 plus 4 11 and fourth day 6 plus 4 10 and fifth day 8 plus 4 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12 there is no problem. So, now finally, what has happened that when I plot this manpower requirement and the versus time. See, if the company can run with 12 manpower for 12 days, there will be slight variation on third and fourth day. So, how I have I am able to achieve this? After doing a small modification within the slack of each activities, then I am able to level the workload requirement. So, this is possible and one important point here, you cannot do any adjustment on the critical path because their flow to 0 you cannot do any adjustment, but only for non critical activities you can adjust your early start time. So, that it is not violating the overall project duration and the precedence diagram. So, when you adjust it what has happened that the manpower requirement is equally leveled. And one more thing this is a trial and error method, there is a heuristic method. See if the problem is very big, if there are so many activities. So, manually doing this adjustment is not possible. So, you have to go for some optimization technique softwares. Obviously, this heuristic procedure become quite complicated when many activities with many combinations are required to be considered. In such situation, it may be necessary and useful to employ a computer for this purpose. So, in this lecture, I have explained what is the resource leveling. Then I discussed about need for resource leveling, then I have compared resource leveling versus crashing. Then with the help of a numerical example by using a heuristic procedure, I have explained how to do the leveling. Thank you.